to some owners, a dog isn't just a pet, it's a way of life. And this weekend, after weeks of preparation, dog lovers across Merseyside travelled to Crufts to prove their best friend is something special. We're just addicted to dogs, I'm afraid. You need them to be well muscled up, so they've got to be trained correctly. And also you've got to teach them um, to, to, to go into the show ring and strut their stuff, really. And all I can say is... Miss Whale doesn't go into a competition and just walk in with her shoulders down. She struts her stuff and that's what we want our Boston to do. We want them to go in and knock them dead. More than 20,000 dogs competed in Crufts, dubbed the world's greatest dog show. In hole one of the NEC, Ron Ramsey, whose dog won Best in Show in 2000, was preparing to take Kerry Blue Terrier George into the ring. Um, my, one of the... I, one of the things I use and try to say is I'm trying to make him look like an Arabian stallion. I'm trying to get that stallion look, rounded neck, big quarters, power. Obviously what I'm trying to do is, is perfect the outline of him so that the outline remains stable when he's in the ring. Or it's like when you're watching knights of old and they walk into that tent and they've got chain mail on and then they come out in the armour and you go wow because there's a structure and a fabulous substance to them. Well that's what a Kerry Blue is like. George won his class, and Mr Ramsey says he was happy with that. If you won Crufts, people think you're going to win it again. But it's very similar to saying to someone who's a tennis player, are you going to win Wimbledon again? You know, you just don't win it several times on the run very often. Winning once is a, a win in a lifetime. And we were reserved best in show in 2003. Even with ring shows and agility displays, some got chance to relax. But not pull near the wood for Mills near Port. That's what we do, six dogs, just comb and comb and brush. Yeah, so it was a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. And you do these, and he looked immaculate yesterday, but when you travel and he comes out of this crease and he's got bed head, so you've got to start all over again. <laughs> so dedicated to dogs is Tony Oldman from Kensington. He came down to help groom, even though he wasn't showing himself. This is one of the main things with this breed. They have, they, they have a coat which grows about at the same rate as human hair, so they have to be, they have to be trimmed regularly and uh, kept on top of basically. The more you trim them, the better the coat is, you know. More than 100,000 dog lovers went to the show, and Neil Shankfield was among the Merseyside contingent with Jacob, another class winner. Yes! <laughs> Done it again! We got down to the last four for the dog challenge certificate, which is something we've never even got that high before. So to say we were over the moon to coin a football phrase was just, you know, it's just an understatement. We were just absolutely made up for him.